Okay, if you watched my video yesterday from uh, my go-kart build part 8, um, I said it was going to rain today, and it's raining today. So I'm going to be inside, and I have to find something to do in here. What I decided to do was make a drill press vise. And the vise I'm going to make is actually not my idea. It's uh, John Hines' idea. He's got a video on the vise. His video, he he doesn't go through how he made the um, device. He just shows you the outcome of the of the device. In this video, I'm gonna make something similar, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. I'm gonna use the C clamp. Uh, if you have an old one around and everything, perfect. Um, I didn't have an old one around. Well, I did, but smaller ones. I didn't have a big enough one. So, I found this at Canadian Tire this week on special for $3.99. So, that's not bad. It's, um, this is, uh, four and a half, four inch seat clamp. And what I did already was I cut this piece off. This I'm going to discard, or maybe I can use it for something else later. But this is the piece that I want to use, so I can use the rod and the threaded part here for the clamp. Remember, if you live in New York and have these two cars... I went ahead and I cut a piece of um, 2x4 for the back. And I'm going to lay this down and so I can... I got to drill this out so I can embed this into... The two by four here. This is a five eighths washer. The reason why I want to do the hole that big is because. I want to put the washer in behind here so as you tighten the vise it doesn't push the wood right through. Oh this is the reason why I'm building the vise so I can hold stuff like this. Instead of holding it with my hand. This is actually going to be as deep as the 2x4. I might have to put a support back here. I am going to have to put a support back here because this here is like maybe an eighth of an inch thick by the time I drilled it and it's not going to be strong enough to hold anything. So I'm going to add this support. It will make it a little bit thicker um, but I, I don't mind it. It's actually better to support the back but if you guys end up getting like a smaller clamp then this won't be as uh, wide here so you won't have to drill a hole that uh, deep um, yeah I can grind this down or maybe cut it but I'm not gonna bother I think this is be okay because uh, when I bolt it down as I'm tightening it it just gives it more support so it doesn't back off I'm actually going to add a, um, a couple of screws here also. Uh, a lot of people say that um, when I watch the woodworking programs on YouTube, a lot of people say that the wood is sufficient. You don't need nails or screws or anything. I don't know. For something like this, I don't trust just the glue. I'd rather put a couple of screws in here and 
to me it just seems safer. I got a shitty freaking Robinson bit here. Hey, I don't know how John Hines did his. Like I said, he doesn't show in his video how he built it. He just shows the outcome. So, the only way I can think of to do this is uh, use fiberglass, automotive fiberglass. I don't know if any of you guys ever used this stuff. It's called Bondo glass. And it's actually fiberglass. What I usually do, I either use a cardboard or a um, piece of wood, something that I throw away after. And I'm gonna mix it a little bit at a time. Uh, but what she's saying, which is fair, I mean, you were trying to get a And for those of you that, that don't know, then you gotta add a little bit of cream hardener to it. All you do is just add a touch. Well, she felt used, and then, so she was, in a sense, very, very little. And then you mix it in uh, thoroughly. Uh, the thing with this is you gotta be careful when you mix this in the um, in the sun because as soon as it gets hot with the hardener, it'll dry on you really quick before you can even put it on. If you had hernia surgery involving mesh since 2007 and suffered complications or required revision surgery, as soon as all of it changes color. It's mixed in. And I'm just gonna start shoving it down in there. Okay, I went ahead and cut uh, two pieces for the base. Uh, I'm using this piece here just as a spacer. And then I'll remove this because I want I want it empty here in the center. So when I drill, uh, excuse me, when I drill, uh, it won't drill through the base of the um, device. And I went in ahead and sanded this down. I got to go out and get some wood and build myself a bench over here work on this kind of stuff I'm, I'm using my computer desk for this stuff okay that's screwed in this piece is screwed in here now this is going to be the back support Attach the, the threaded rod to here. So what I'm going to do, I honestly need to make myself a bench. Okay, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do exactly the same thing in here that I did with this one. And I'm going to fill it with fiberglass. Uh, there's no uh, restriction on the way back. It's on the way front that um, that there's pressure. On the way back, there's not going to be that much pressure. Pressure. 
So I'm going to go ahead and um, fill this in with fiberglass just so when I back it off, this piece here will, will come back. All right, so I'll go ahead and do that and then uh, I'll show you when I'm done. If you're wondering why I made it so wide, it's because when you have when you have it on the drill press and everything, if you want to put clamps here and hold it down, you can do that. Okay, one thing I want to do here is the last thing is on this jaw here, the one that moves back and forth, I want to put a little guide <clears throat> so it can ride on this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right here, the slide back and forth. It just it'll just keep it from um, uh, moving back and forth. Okay, that's basically it. Um, I'll send it down and I'll paint it, and um, but that's basically it. Uh, whoever makes one of these, you don't have to make it so high. You don't have to make you make it to the the specs that you want. Or whatever this for me is good to hold two by fours and would like that and yeah it works pretty nice and it'll hold let me just grab a piece of wood here it'll hold a piece of wood if you need to drill it just bring it in clamp it sturdy in there drill it whatever uh, don't forget this is not a a metal vice right so you're not going to be able to clamp um, steel that hard in there you'll be, be able to do light stuff with steel but you won't be able to crank it up or else obviously you're going to damage the wood right this moves around of this it'll adjust to the wood itself but that's because of the pivot on the on the rod here but yeah there you go thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys on uh, my next video